Beatty Gulch has gotten to be, you know, a pretty hot topic. It's an area that some describe as a postage stamp where you can see houses, Yellowstone National Park, and in the middle, Beatty Gulch, where a buffalo hunt takes place every year. But some say it's unsafe and unethical. We only authorize so many hunters. Stephanie Gillen is the Information and Education Program Manager for the Natural Resources Department of the Confederated Salish and Kootenai Tribes. They have to sign up before they even head to Gardner. Uh, there's only, you know, so many hunters through each organization allowed there. Game wardens have to be on site with them as well. They have to check in in the morning. Like, there's so much safety that goes around Beatty Gulch. Stephanie has also been a tribal wildlife biologist for just over two decades and notes the importance of the bison hunt to the tribes and to her family. Generation-wise, you know, my grandmother was in her 90s when I harvested my first bison, and so I called her. And I was, I literally just shot my bison and, and I, you know, wanted to leave a, an offering, you know, a, to think that bison forgiving gets life for, for me and my family and, and asked her, you know, what should I do? And so she told me and I, and I did that. Stephanie says the impact to herself and her family is huge, but she did note she has not harvested in Beatty Gulch. Coming from a tribal member hunter, uh, I've harvested two in Gardner area, but not in Beatty Gulch, I refuse to hunt there. She describes a firing line that is formed in the area. A lawyer for the Confederated Salish and Kootenai Tribes was also on the call with me and Stephanie and said that he doesn't think the position of the CSKT is deeming the Beatty Gulch bison hunt as completely unsafe and dangerous. He says with any hunting activity, safety is important. And he and Stephanie say that organization, space and time is key. Now, hunting a bison in the Beatty Gulch area is not just for the tribes. It's for state hunters, too. This season, FWP gave out 85 bison tags, 40 of which are for the Gardner area. Looking from one side of Old Yellowstone Trail south to the other, you see homes dot the landscape. One of those homes belongs to Bonnie Lynn. Even putting up my no trespassing sign, I went to hammer it in and the bullets were flying and there was one bullet that, of three bullets that came my direction and, and one killed a bison for me, maybe how many feet is that, 10 feet away, 12 feet away? But everyone asks, oh, are you against hunting? I say no. I taught my children to hunt. I'm not against hunting. I'm not against treaty rights. What is a hunt? In Bonnie's eyes, a hunt is a fair chase and notes that the bison in the gulch are coming from the park and may not see people as a threat. She also adds that she believes the hunting that goes on here is simply not safe. Sandy Monville is a volunteer with Yellowstone Voices, an organization aimed at preserving and protecting wildlife in and around Yellowstone National Park. And the two takeaways she wants to impart? I think safety out here is, is huge. Like I said, there's been days I've come out of this house and they're shooting right there and I've been scared. I've been frightened. Um, respect for the bison. Littering the fields of Beatty Gulch, gut piles of harvested bison. Sandy sent us this photo of a bison overlooking a field. Hunting at Beatty Gulch is a large and complex issue that is hard to fit into one segment and something MTN will continue to follow. In Gardner, Jane McDonald, MTN News.